Hello everyone, this is Sarah from 3WS Med. We are a medical consumable supplier in China. Today we will talk and introduce the production of medical gauze. Gauze is a type of thin medical fabric with a loose open weave and is intended for post-surgical application or deep wound healing after its sterilization. Generally speaking, gauze products are in the following categories. Gauze rolls, gauze bandages, gauze swabs, gauze abdominal pad, or you can say lab sponges, and gauze balls. Among all the production process, the previous parts of the bleached gauze fabric production are almost the same. So here we will start with the production line of bleached gauze. The first step is warping. Factory will purchase raw material like cotton yarn, which is made of 100% cotton, and use warping machine to warp yarns like the following videos. Yarn threads with the count of 40S is most widely used in the medical gauze. Also some market will require thicker yarns like 32S or 21S. Here we are talking about the cotton count, or you can say indirect yarn numbering. Higher the count of yarn is finer the yarn. For example, a 40S yarn is two times finer than a 20S yarn. The next step is weaving. As we know, warp and weft are the two basic components used in weaving to turn threads or yarn into fabric. So after warping, we have to weave the weft threads into the warp threads and combine it as a complete plain gauze fabric. For some products with X-ray thread, we will insert the X-ray thread into the fabric in this step, like the following video. Now we have got a large volume of gauze after warping, weaving and rolling. But this is not applicable for medical gauze. We will put it into a high pressure tank with some hydrogen peroxide for degreasing, bleaching, as well as softening. step is to dry the bleached gauze in drying machine. So this is how to produce bleached gauze fabric from warping, weaving, bleaching, and drying. And with the bleached gauze fabric, we will have different production lines for specific gas products, which we will have further introduction in our following videos. So that's all for today's video. Thank you for your watching. See you next time.